the Muhammad Ali's 60th birthday celebration. Starring Will Smith, Sidney Poitier, Sylvester Stallone, Jamie Foxx, John Travolta, Larry King, John Boyd, Angela Bassett, Cuba Gooding Jr., Sugar Ray Leonard, and Samuel L. Jackson. With musical performances by Mariah Carey, Natalie Cole, Paul Simon, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, India Ari, and a special birthday greeting by NSYNC. And now, please welcome a young woman who has known Muhammad Ali all her life. Good evening. I'm Layla Ali. I want to introduce you to the only man who could have played my father in the movie Ali, Will Smith. Well, thank you, girl. <laughs> What's happening, champ? Tonight, we're here to honor a living legend, to help celebrate his 60th birthday and to have a little fun at his party. He'd say he's the prettiest. <laughs> He'd say he's the funniest. <laughs> He'd say he's the greatest. He's Muhammad Ali. Look at that face. Look at you. Man, you so pretty, you could almost play me in a movie. <laughs> He's got it all. He's a magician. He can walk into a room and light up the face of every single person in there. He's a beloved symbol of our nation. He may be the only American citizen welcome anywhere in the world, anytime, any place. And he's a fighter. Forty years ago, he fought in a 20-foot ring. Today, the world is his ring. He fights for justice, he fights for tolerance, and he fights for opportunity for every single member of his race, the human race. I see you looking at me. You know I look good tonight, don't you? I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. And he's also someone who appreciates great music from everywhere in the world. So please welcome Paul Simon and Lady Smith, Black Mambazo. It's all over the news. Sing to na na, to na na na. He got diamonds on the soles of his shoes. To na na, to na na na. He got diamonds on the soles of his shoes. Diamonds on the soles of his shoes. But everybody knows Muhammad Ali He's 60 years old But he's still pretty He got diamonds on the soles of his shoes I could say Ooh And everybody here would know Who I was talking about I mean everybody 
everybody is not just what I'm talking about. I'm talking about diamonds on the soles of his shoes. Africa, but in Pilon, then Pilon, Ukun and Jalus Koko, all the way from Africa. They say, God bless you. Happy birthday to you, Ali. Happy birthday, champ. Hit 
Please welcome Academy Award winning actor, Tuba Gooding Jr. Those who are experts in the sweet science know it involves the ability to deceive and surprise, to hide something from view until the right time. A 22-year-old Cassius Clay stunned Sonny Liston in Miami. A 32-year-old Muhammad Ali shocked George Foreman in Zaire. And even an experienced investigative reporter like Ed Bradley had something to learn about Muhammad Ali. Fight in what happened? I don't know. I wasn't there, but ever since the Frazier fight in Manila, Muhammad will. It's sort of like like narcolepsy. He'll just start sleeping, but he'll have these flashbacks, and he'll have it's like nightmares, and his face will twist up like he's boxing, and he'll throw punches at people. And he does it at night sometimes. Sometimes I have to get out of the bed. Whenever he starts snoring heavily, I have to get out of the bed because I know it's going to start. Uh -huh. So when he starts, what's the next room? And the doctor told us not to really try to wake him if that but, does happen, because he might end up with a heart attack because mm -hmm. it might frighten him. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I just get up and move. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the hard part. You have to sort of. You got me. As you can see, even at 60, when he makes his move, you get out of the way. <laughs> and now an Academy Award winner who has been an inspiration to me as an actor and as a man, Sidney Portier. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for 60 years Muhammad Ali has defied the odds shattered stereotypes and in a society where far too many settle for a lesser imitation he is a true original In an age of discrimination and bigotry, he broke down barriers of hate and preached a gospel of love and tolerance. <laughs> Trained in a profession where violence is rewarded, he has become an ambassador of peace. But to understand the man that Muhammad Ali has become, we must go back in time and trace the path he took on his long journey to greatness. He was born Cassius Marcellus Clay on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky. At the age of 12, he met his first boxing coach, a policeman named Joe Martin, when a traumatic event changed his entire life. Somebody took his bike. And uh, of course, he was very upset about that. And uh, 
wanted to report it to the police, and as I was a police officer, why well, someone told him, well, there's a police officer downstairs in the gymnasium, go down and tell him about it. So uh, he was going to whip whoever found him, so I brought up the subject. I said, well, you better learn how to fight before you start challenging people that you're going to whip. And challenge them he did. As an amateur boxer, he fought 108 bouts by the time he was 18, winning six Golden Globe championships and four national amateur titles. That same year, 1960, he tried out for the Olympic team, impressed the coaches, and was off to Rome representing his country. In Rome, he punched his way through every match and won the gold medal. Because the first real thrill, you know, the gold medal, when I'd had the Russian on this side of me, the silver medal, and the Polish fell on this side of me with the bronze medal, and I was standing right on the top with the pretty gold medal. That was my greatest thrill. When young Cassius Clay returned home, he was greeted at the airport by his family and thousands of fans. From that moment on, the phenomenon that was to become Muhammad Ali blazed across the heavens like a meteor with a light so bright that it was visible to all people. Muhammad Ali stands as a powerful symbol of love, hope, and understanding. That is the reason we are all here tonight, to honor this wonderfully remarkable man. Please welcome Larry King. Thank you very much. Uh, like all great men who dare mighty things, Muhammad Ali has always been in the center of life's ring, forever willing to risk his all to win a glorious triumph. And like all men who choose that path, life has been filled with controversy. At first, there was the controversy in the Sonny Liston fight, over what has been called the Phantom Punch. Keep an eye on Clay's lightning fast right hand. A short, choosing right to the jaw, and Liston goes down. I saw the punch. <laughs> Some sports writers saw the punch. The only person we know who never saw the punch <laughs> was Sonny Liston. <laughs> Next, the controversy over changing his name. My name is no longer Cassius Clay. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad has named me Muhammad Ali. Of course, the most intense controversy in Muhammad Ali's life came in 1967. Mr. Muhammad Ali has just refused to be inducted into the United States Armed Forces. I said that I'm going to be a man. I'm going to fight it legally. If I lose it, I'm just going to jail. Deposed heavyweight champion Cassius Clay at federal court in Houston is found guilty of violating the U.S. Selective Service laws by refusing to be inducted. He is sentenced to five years in prison and fined $10,000, the maximum penalty for the offense, which is a felony. He stood up for his religious beliefs. He stood up against the war that he knew was wrong, and he stood tall as a symbol for a young generation looking for a hero. The powers that be took away his license, his source of income, and his career. But they couldn't take away his strength and courage. And four years later, the controversy was put to rest in a unanimous Supreme Court decision. On June 28, 1971, the Supreme Court unanimously reverses Muhammad Ali's conviction, and criminal charges against him are dropped. The heat of controversy may well be passed for Muhammad Ali, but the fire within the man still burns strong, and it's that fire and passion that has led him to establish the Muhammad Ali Center in Louisville, Kentucky. It will be a museum and education center for young people today and for generations yet unborn, to help them build their lives based on the principle that one man can make a difference. And this one man has made a difference in the lives of millions of people. It's been a lifetime full of wonderful moments for Muhammad Ali and for all of us. Thank you, Muhammad. Happy birthday.
please welcome Grammy nominee, India Ari. Inside my head there lives a dream that I want to see in the sun. Behind my eyes there lives me that I've been hiding for much too long. Cause I've been too afraid to let it show. Cause I'm scared of the judgment that may follow. Always putting off my living for tomorrow. It's time to step out on faith. I got to show my faith. It's been elusive for so long, but freedom is mine today. I got to step out on faith. It's time to show my face. Procrastination had me down, but look what I have found. Yeah, strength, courage, and wisdom. It's been inside of me all along. struggling. This is for the young brother hustling. This is for my sons and my daughters, mothers and my sisters, brothers and my fathers. Though some days may catch you crying, you just gotta keep on trying. Oh, this is a song for you. It's great for us to be able to help celebrate the 60th birthday of Mr. Muhammad Ali. At times like these, America needs to celebrate our heroes and role models. Ali is both. So tonight, we are happy and proud to join with people all over the world to say happy birthday, Muhammad Ali. And Mr. Ali, we have everyone here at Paradise Island who want to help sing us happy birthday to you. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ali, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Muhammad Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Angela Bassett. On January 11, 2002, Muhammad Ali received a star on Hollywood Boulevard. This honor is exclusively reserved for producers, actors, directors, writers, and entertainers. Muhammad Ali is all of the above. Just think of the theatrics that preceded the first Liston fight. I mean, there were surprise appearances, comedy, conflict, and a near riot. And that was just at the weigh-in. Here are just a few of the legendary performances produced, directed, written, and starring Muhammad Ali. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cassius Marcellus Clay. I'm fast, I'm pretty, and can't possibly be beat. And I'll whoop any man in the world, and I want everybody out there on TV to know it. I'm a poet, I'm a prophet, I'm young, I'm handsome, I'm the resurrector, I'm the savior of the boxing world. If it wasn't for me, the game would be dead. I saw Sonny Liston a few days ago, Cash. Ain't he ugly? <laughs> he, he's too ugly to be the world's champ. The world's champ should be pretty like me. Well, he told you to bet my life that you wouldn't go three runs. Well, if you want to lose your money, then bet on Sonny. 
I'm only bold and cocky before and after fight. Oh, I'm so pretty. Hey, I'm so the world. Let me see you close your mouth and just keep it closed. Well, you know that's no, impossible. No, 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 keep it closed. You know that's impossible. I'm the greatest. And I'm knocking out all bones. And if you get too small, I'll knock you out. Close your mouth and just keep it closed for 10 seconds. Well, that's impossible. You know that's impossible. Well, uh, you're right. I'm not even worried about this big bum. Uh, Cooper will only be a warm-up until I get to that big, ugly bear, Sonny Liston. Right, bodyguard? Right, right. 55,000 and Cleopatra was at ringside to witness. Can this Louisville lip come over here and call the exact round again? We don't believe it. The fifth round came. Yeah, I hit him. Yeah, I said, come on, sucker. Yeah. Man said, break it up. I said, there he is. There he is. He walked on out of the joint. The odds should be three and a half to one that you won't show up for the fight. The odds should be 10 to nothing that you don't last for the first round. Well, 100% would be coming to see me, but 99% would be coming to see me get beat. You really feel that Because they think I talk too much. An unheard of thing happened at the Main Street gym in Miami. Challenger Cassius invaded while Liston was training. Clay's bravado was never more evident, but Liston was not an appreciative audience. Sonny had to be restrained to protect Clay. My New Year's revolution is to knock out that big, ugly bear, shake up the whole world in 1964, and talk no more. For those of you who won't be able to see the Clay Liston fight, here is the eighth round exactly as it will happen. Clay comes out to meet Liston, and Liston starts to retreat. If Liston goes back in his father, he'll end up in the ringside seat. Clay swings with his left. Clay swings with his right. Look at young Cassius carry the fight. Listen, keeps back in, but there's not enough room. It's a matter of time. And Clay lost the boom. Now Listen disappears from view. The crowd is getting frantic. But our radar stations have picked him up. He is somewhere over the Atlantic. Listen is still rising, and the ref has a frown. For he can't start counting till Sonny comes down. Who would have thought when they came to the fight that they had witnessed the launching of a human satellite? Yes, the crowd did not dream when they put down their money that they would see a total eclipse of the sun. Guys, this way, wait a Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Cam. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. No, I don't have to. Now hold it. Move over, Joe. Joe, get on the side. I don't have a mark on my face. Hold it. Hold it. Bedlam busting out here. Oh, great, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I upset Sonny Liston, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Now, I you? told the world, I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me, Sonny. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Uh, uh, Joe, I shook up the world. Uh, wait a minute, Cash. Wait a minute. Hold you it. must listen to me. I am the double. All right, hold it. ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I must tell you this. I can't be beat, Joe. Uh, wait, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, we're in the gym, but I don't think so. All right, tell us this. All right, Cash. Thank you. Wow. And now, please welcome another legend from the world of sports, Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm a boxing promoter now. And in my job, you meet a lot of athletes and actors. And I'm truly fascinated by what they have in common. The ability to play sports. The ability to play a character. And that's when I knew when Will Smith and Muhammad Ali got together backstage at the set during the filming of Ali. <laughs> There was going to be a whole lot of playing going on. Sticking and moving and dancing, shut <laughs> At 60. <laughs> this will shut the whole world. He's 60. All right, all right. Ali. Uh, I'm just too fast. I'm too handsome. Just go on. Don't put your hands up, sucker. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, now you're playing around. You're playing around too much and too fast. I hit you six times before you can blame. Come on now, you can't. Come on, throw it out there. Go on. Come on. You'll stick that thing out there.
I'm actually a more well-rounded fighter than he is. Who knows what would have happened if we was both fighting in the same day? <laughs> Who knows what would have happened? Who knows what would have happened? I'm just too much. Because I'm fast. See, that's the thing. You are fast. I'm just... See, now I got to warm up. It's just good. Now, see, I'm ready now. Shake up everybody. Shake up everybody. Dancing at 60. Dancing at 60. You gonna shuffle? Oh, 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 oh. Rookie cheating. The man is gonna cheat. That'd be pretty. You gonna be pretty. No gray hair. No gray hair. We're gonna get somebody to dye it out. Please welcome Samuel L. Jackson. As you look around the theater tonight, there are many images of Muhammad Ali as seen through the lens of Howard Bingham, Ali's friend and constant companion over the past 40 years. Every fight, press conference, an important moment of the life and career of Muhammad Ali has been captured for the world to see by the camera of Howard Bingham. No two men in professional sports have ever been as close for as long as Muhammad and Howard. Movies, videotape, and newsreels capture the action. But these photographs have brought us a look into the soul of the man. We are delighted that Howard has agreed to share just a few intimate glimpses from his magnificent collection. Ladies and gentlemen, Howard Bingham. From the Jamie Foxx show, the actor who brought Drew Bundini Brown to life in the movie Ali, Jamie Foxx. Happy birthday. <laughs> now, uh, Muhammad Ali has had many careers. Boxer, humanitarian, porn star. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> poet. <laughs> but what if he was an adult video star? Bring a whole new meaning to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, baby. <laughs> Rumble, young man, rumble. <laughs> Still got the magic in your hips, I see. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something, no matter what the situation was with Ali, no matter what the situation, no matter how hard or how high the stakes were, he always managed to come up with a joke. Ali versus Frazier, fourth round. Ali has just hit Joe Frazier with a tremendous combination of punches. Ali goes to his corner and turns to Bundini. The whole world is watching, wondering, what are they talking about? Ali says, did you bring lunch? 
Bundini panics. He thinks Ali has lost his mind. Calls out for the smelling sauce. Ali says, I don't need smelling sauce. Did you bring lunch? Bundini asks, what are you talking about, Ali? Ali says, because I just hit Frazier with everything I had. And Frazier looked at me and said, is that all you got? So we're going to be here all day. Go get me lunch. Happy birthday. You are the greatest of all time, and you will remain the greatest of all time. Ali, happy birthday. I love you. I love you. Please welcome the Academy Award winning actor who played Howard Cosell in the movie Ali, John Voight. Lani Muhammad, it's an honor for me to be here tonight. In my preparation for the film, Ali, I, uh, I reviewed on video many moments between Howard Cosell and Muhammad Ali. And it was always hard for me to concentrate on the work because I was so caught up in the pure entertainment of it. Take a look at this. Don't touch me. What you call Let's him? tell it like it is. Right from the beginning. I have made you famous enough. Everywhere I go, you follow me to get your name in the papers and on television. I'd You'd made still you... be stealing bikes in Louisville if Don't it wasn't for me. Don't tell people I stole bikes. Everybody's talking about Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier. There's chumps out there think Joe Frazier can beat me. I'm Muhammad Ali. I am the greatest. I brought to boxing the anchor punch, the ghetto whopper, the bolo punch, the Malaysian waltz, the double shuffle, the Russian tank, the rope the dope, the mirage. You realize that two weeks from tonight on my new show live from New York City, two days before the fight, we are opening up the satellite. This is live. Split screen. I talk to you, I talk to Frazier. These people will then have a chance to evaluate your courage or lack thereof. You understand? I mean, speak in simple English. I didn't go to school. I don't <laughs> understand all these big words. You're always coming up with a lot of big words. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do, how it goes out? I promise you this. And I promise the world, people want to see me slap you. They want to see me do something to you. And I, that's against the law. But I tell you what, one of these days, I promise you, the next time you get in the ring agitating with me, I hope you're there on my last fight. I swear I'm going to pull it off. <laughs> I'm Mr. Howard Cosell. Howard Cosell, show the people that you're not the man you was a few years ago. <laughs> Another extraordinary moment was recorded 10 years ago on the occasion of Muhammad, your 50th birthday. Howard got himself up from his sickbed to stand in front of a camera for the last time and to send greetings to his friend. For anyone who sees this video, it will live in their memory forever. Let's take a look back and pay tribute to this extraordinary relationship, which, of course, is the real thing. It's hard to believe all the years, everything that's passed between us. It's so hard to believe and so memorable. And now it's time to say to you, Muhammad, God bless you and happy birthday to you. And you know something? You are exactly who you said you are. You never waver. You are free to be who you want to be. I love you.
We all love you, Muhammad. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Grammy-winning artist, Natalie Cole. I don't know if you know this, Marvin, but I, I, I've had a crush on him all my life. And my son Robbie's had a crush on you all his life. And then, don't try it. <laughs> I know that the world sees you, and I do too, as the greatest fighter of all times. But I also see you as a pretty terrific father. And I should know because I had a pretty terrific daddy, too. So from me to you, I love you. Anyone who's ever met the champ will remember that moment forever. I'm certainly no exception. I first met Muhammad Ali on stage at an intimate little gathering for, say, a billion television viewers. I was bragging about my boxing ability. Well, later that night, you slipped this into my pocket, and I think I should share this with these people. It's a poem. So you'll come back to haunt you 26 years later. You fought and you worked. You're a determined guy. Rocky is great, and I love you, Sly. If you don't get an Oscar, remember, please do. The greatest will always get one because I'm prettier than you. <laughs> I guess, and you still are. Anyway, you're a magnificent international treasure, and happy birthday, Trent.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mariah Carey. Muhammad Ali, ladies, ladies and, and gentlemen. gentlemen. The greatest. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> me something uh, about a year ago. You told me that on your 60th birthday, you were going to announce your comeback. Well, as always, we saved the best for last. So now it's time for a man who's more than the best. He's the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Thank you all for coming. Happy birthday, champ. <laughs>